Guys, I want to show you all something. This right here, with the brushes and the cleaning stuff in the bucket, is for a cleaning project. Um, I got a lot of stuff down there. I've kind of already started. So this is one of the items that I'm cleaning. And then this is another item that I'm cleaning. And this right here has a little pocket. And those are straps where you can wrap it around it and lock it in. But I'm going to show you something they don't want to buy outside. So I sprayed it down with like four different things. Bleach, disinfectant, odor band, and something else I sprayed it down with. So I went to my little thrift store that has like a little, I'm trying to wrap this food up. That has like a little, I call it a junkyard attached to it. And he had these lawn chairs. He had a set on the first one I saw. And the reason why I got it is because you can set your back up and let your legs lay straight or you can let set your back up and let your legs go down where you sit up in a chair i think not all the way down but kind of and then you can lay completely down so the one i saw for it to do all that <clears throat> you had to work the arms and i asked them how much it was now mind you it's not covered they're sitting in the rain getting rusted so he's like i give you ten dollars i said no nah, no nah. Um, I said, you got anything cheaper? He walks me over to what I just showed you. And he was like, I can give that to you for $5. And then he turned around and was like, I can give it all to you for $5. So it's sitting in the rain. It's not even covered. I got to go and disinfect it, which is fine. And then after I disinfect it, I got to um, get some spray that sort tub. of rusk and stuff. So he had three of them. Somebody had oil in them. And he gave it to me for $2. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to use that as, oh, it's going to be gray water. It's not going to be because I don't know what's been in that jug. So, I, so I, now I have two gray water jugs. Um, so, yeah, that's that so far. I just want to do a small clip it before I wash it down and, and put it away. And I'm not sure when you see, but once I reveal everything, then you'll, you know, see it. All right, guys, got to go. I'm going to wait till it cool down before I go out there and scrub it to death. All right, later. I know my hair standing up on my head. This is not, oh. I went and got me some lubricant. I couldn't find WD. I couldn't find WD-40 some months ago. Excuse me for my hair. So I found this, I think, at the Dollar Tree. And then later on, I found some WD-40. Oh, there it is. some more cleaning stuff to my arsenal so cleaning 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 older band disinfected disinfected oh sorry <laughs> these are two disinfected older band and um seventh generation 
cleaning, 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 cleaning. And this is the real deal right here. This is after everything is done. Okay. Well. Right, Excuse my background. Y'all already know I'm packing and trying to get the hell up out of here. Okay. So this is it. Okay. Now this is the back because it comes with a bag, a, a pocket or whatever you want to call it. And it's pretty, it's pretty deep. Okay. So. <clears> Hold <throat> oh Lord. Them legs would work right there. Okay, so what you do is okay, so head there, body there. When you want to set it up, you hear it clicking, so it has levels. All right. Um, I think this part right here. Oh, you got to. So I guess you can lay your head on any side. I prefer the side with the bag. So. I thought you could sit it up. You gotta fold it all the way down to bring it back to. Okay, so you can't sit up like a chair. These legs will get on my nerve. Okay, so it's always in this mode. And then when you lay it down, whatever, never, never. Okay, so let me show you what I want to show you. So you can lay that down. I guess this is to tote it. I don't know. Then you can lay the head down, okay? Then you take this and you snap it. Hold on. All right, so you snap it here, but I gotta make this part. Hold on, that's it's, you got too much slack in it, so I'll tighten it up. And then you take these. Hold on. And you. No. Gotta go back the other way, cause you don't snap it this way. You snap it the other way. So let me snap it the other way. If I can get everything to cooperate, the legs will keep folding. I wish they had a locking mechanism. Do they? They do not. Okay. So the legs keep folding. Yeah, that's that. And like I said, you must tote it from here. Because the other one is, where is the other one? Right there. The one right here, one right there. And that's it. Um, now, these are the little feet things. I want to find a thicker one so I, it could give it height. So I'm going to find something to put right here. I think I'm going to put a two, a two noodle, a pool noodle to give it some thickness so it can give it some height. Um, or a piece of something like this. But yeah. So if I can go to one of my bin stores and find a bag where I can just slip that in there, that would be excellent. So yeah, that's part of what I'm working on. The legs do lock. You just have to add some elbow grease to it. Alright. So let's see if I can lay on this without busting my butt. Ooh, if I fall. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm impressed. So it is very strong. Ow. Oh yeah, these don't get on my nerve. So I'm gonna have to probably I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to find something to a rubber piece to cover these. Or maybe whatever I use to lay over this, over this, because you hurt my leg. Alright. I'm scared. All right, it's holding on pretty good. With the legs, you have to really lock them in. Oh, so that helps. So this is the thing. This is why I want some height. There's two reasons why I need height. Because if it's in the car, it needs to be too, I'll explain it. 
But this is another reason why. So say I'm in the van or the car, I'm right here by the floor. And I'm gonna have to do this to get out. See that? So if I got some height, that'll help. Um, and this would be chair mode. I'm so short and this is really close to the floor. This right here is getting me that metal piece. All right. I'm glad this is only something that's temporary. So got to get some height to it. And I thought about this by editing the video that um, the pool noodle, after putting my weight on, is going to flatten, so it'll still be close to the floor. But I need to get something like some hard plastic that I can snap on here. All right. That's one thing. I can get up my to-do list, my temporary bed. Now this makes sense. Okay. And the handles. All right, so trying to find something so I won't hurt my leg on these parts and adding feet, something thicker. All right, guys. Whew, that was a workout. I'm fat behind. <laughs> so the people from the light company came today and, um, they covered my hot water heater for reflectives. And then he had the little pool noodle looking things to cover the pipes. <laughs> so he had me by the door about to leave out. I said, hey, <laughs> um, don't worry about your trash. I'll go ahead and get it. I'll take it out. <laughs> but the pool noodle thing, um, he couldn't leave that because he didn't cut it. And he needed that for another hot water heater. But I am so glad to see some more reflectives. So right now, um, my jug that I'm going to be drinking my water out of, I am actually covering it in reflectives right now. I'm using some black electrical tape from um, the Dollar Tree. And I want to make sure I get this to work. I'm trying to figure out if I want to tape this onto the glass because if the glass get cold, the tape may not stay, but it'll stay on the reflectives. So I think what I'll do is, um, got another piece here. I want to wrap it. And I don't know if I want to wrap it. You guys can't really see. I don't know if I want to wrap it to the bottom on the outside or bring it in, bring it in all the way around, and then do it like that. Oh. Yeah, have it in. But I gotta get it to stay up like this while I'm taping it. I'll figure something out. And then I'll come back and show y'all the results. So now I am just waiting. Um, my maintenance man got to come change this antique light bulb. I don't know why. He gave us some a light. It's a real long light up there. They got like the old tube that hum when it come on. It take like 20 seconds to come on. I don't know why the hell he did that. So he got to come change the bulb. And then um, they made sure all the lights were LED. 
for energy saving purposes. They wrapped the hot water heater. They gave me a little spray nozzle for my sink. And then there was, because of, um, this is a townhouse and I have an upstairs, upstairs area, they took the, um, the plate off of the light switch and added one that has like a little thermometer to show you how hot it is upstairs as hell. Um, and what else did they do? And that's it. Supposedly, if you have Dominion as your carrier, they're contacting the apartment complexes and asking them, can they come and make the apartments energy efficient? I don't care what y'all do to make it energy efficient. If they don't change out these windows and these doors, it's a waste of damn time. Excuse my French. You know, these apartment complexes, they don't care. And, you know, the rent's going up like crazy, but they don't, they don't want to pay you nothing. That's why I'm going to get the hell out of South Carolina. I know people are saying stuff about, oh, it's hot, every place. Correct. But, I mean, at least you can find some good paying jobs. Here, it's who you know and what the hell you look like. I said it, I'm going to keep saying 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 it. But, um, so yeah. And the rent is going to pay, I think, like every six months. For my calculations. So that's what we're looking like. Let me go ahead and get this on. And I'll be back. I'm starting to work on my DIYs. So now, um, let me see. Next week is the last week of July. August 1st is next Thursday, so I want to say the week of one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, the week of the 5th of August, they'll be here to give the new windows. All right, guys, I'll be back. Let me get this going. Oh, my phone. I wasn't sure how to wrap this, so this is the installation, as you can see, and that right there is a Dollar Tree. Um, I guess it's masking or electrical tape. So it looked lumpy and bumpy. So I tried to put the tape on to kind of smooth it out so it won't look as crazy. It still kind of looked crazy. <laughs> but I got one more piece I'm going to add to it. But I'm going to go to a um, thrift store to find it. And I put some to the bottom. So the whole thing is covered in insulation. And I try to make sure that my top is kind of down some so my thing can slide over and it won't have any issues. So that's that. Um, looking for one more really small um, type piece. Um, I feel like it was something else I want to tell you guys. So all I'm going to ever do is just put water in it and that's it. Um, I won't have to do nothing with the outside. This is just to keep it cool as possible. And I'll find that one piece sooner or later. And so this is one thing. Excuse all that. Yeah, you know, I'm cleaning and packing. All right. I won't be surprised if my maintenance man decided to come right now. He got to change this antique bub over my sink and change the holes so they can add the attachment to my um, shower head. This is the free stuff our light company gave to us. They're going to jack our bill up now. I'm going to start showing y'all some stuff. Um, that I got so I can go ahead and put it away reusable paper towels I think I did a video on this about two months ago they marked them down to a dollar so they all come in three pieces and so far I'm liking it I hadn't had any issues um, I hadn't had an issue like they wash out really good they dry really quick and they hadn't stink you know how like my apartment is hot and I have like a rag in my sink or something <coughs> Like one time I had my own, and my rag got the sour scent to it. I hate that with a passion. Um, so that's why I have to keep my air on because, like I said, our window, uh, windows, our apartments get really, really hot. They're just now fixing the windows. They're going to BS and try to do the doors just because they jacked up the rent. So I hadn't had that issue. So um, it's a winner for me. So I have six total. But like I said, they were a dollar. You get three for a dollar. This just came out during the school season, and they're already clearing some down to $2. They were like originally like three something. So it's a bowl and they come with like a spoon fork. There's a spoon. There's a fork, two dollars. So I just got one. I like this size and I wanted a bowl type thing to eat with because salads. I wanna 
I was going to try to find me like a collapsible type mixing bowl type thing, but I couldn't. So this is what I found because, you know, I'm a salad person forever. All right. I've been having heart palpitations all morning and it's getting on my nerve. I'm going to have to put one of those pills under my tongue. <sighs> um, let me do this right quick and then we go upstairs. I hit my braids to stick out. So, I have a habit of when I go shopping, I set bags down and totally forget about them. I've been doing this for years. So now that they're coming to, um, well, the light company came and changed out the light bulbs and they wrapped my um, my hot water heater and some insulation. And I told them I'll put it in the trash. I got it right here on the table. I'm not throwing crap away. So I got some more free insulation. Well, I got some insulation, not more free ones. So they did that. And so I had to move things around. I found things that I bought. And the people should be coming in about, I don't know, probably the second week of August to replace all of my windows. So I've already started moving everything from by the window. I have my upstairs room. I just got to move a piece of furniture and two boxes. Nothing would be by anybody's window. I just have to take my curtains down uh, because they're going to replace the blinds. So the day I take them down, the day I wash them, and then they'll replace the um, curtains, and then he'll come and put in the blinds. So I put my curtains back up. So um, I've been finding boxes with stuff in it. So let's go ahead and start with this. Walked into the thrift store, ended up finding a $110 um, a golf shirt, a, tweety, a Twinkie sweet sweatshirt, these are the stuff I'm going to sell. Um, what else did I find? A, a dress for me. I'll show you to you. I think I'm going to turn it into pants. I'm going to try to figure out how to do that. Um, and this item for $2. And the cord. So, backstory. Y'all remember when I had gotten my um, electric lunchbox? And this wasn't in the instructions. And, but it has a part for it, and I bought this, and it didn't work. It was actually too small. I got to pay attention to that hole. I need a bigger hole. Okay, it was too small. Cool. Keep that in mind. Let me turn my power station on. This is too stinking cute. I got this for two dollars. Batteries go here. Television, AM, FM, radio, and it works. It didn't have a cord. I think it's C or D batteries. It didn't have a cord, so I ended up finding one. He gave it to me for a dollar. So that worked. I powered it up while I was there. When I came home, I stuck this in it. Which I found crazy because when I try to stick it inside my own power station, it works, but it doesn't want to go all the way in there. So... So I got in the power station and I'm plugging it up. Now, it says about eight hours. Oh, on TV, about eight hours. On my power station, no, six hours on my power station. It's not pulling anything. But when I put it on the radio, it's 11 hours. Still not, no, 13, 14 hours, 15 hours. 15 hours, not pulling anything. This can, I can watch it for 15 hours and it's not pulling anything before it dies. So back to the TV. Now I haven't been able to find a channel as of yet, okay? But I just have been playing with it, trying to see if maybe I can get something. But guess what? It takes an antenna. And Timu had one, fingers crossed, for $2.24. So I'm waiting for that to come on in. Yeah, this is cute. So I got a 99 cents um, DVD player. I got back in I don't know, February, March of this year, and I got this. So I'm gonna be well entertained. So that's that. I'm trying to, I wish I could find a channel. I'm hoping that antenna works. Now the antenna that I'm getting actually wouldn't even be a loss because it's an antenna that people use to try to find a radio in their car. It, 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 it helps find the frequency. But you can use it. It said you can use it on stuff like this. So again, 
This is selling on eBay for $45. I don't know why. 